Now we are going to look at the drivers or the driving forces coming from the mobile broadband internet access side. For that, we'd have to first of all look at the current implementations of mobile broadband, their unique features, and then we are going to extract the drivers which have led to their participation and a contribution towards NGN. Mobile broadband has been there at least in Pakistan since 2013. Mobile broadband is either based on 3G or 4G or beyond. Let's start with 3G. 3G technologies which implement mobile broadband are the universal mobile telecommunication system, the high speed packet access, both HSPA and HSPA plus. And then we also have the mobile WiMAX 1.0 that is limited mobility. Then in LTE 4G deployment, we see LTE advanced to be implementing data over these 4G networks and then mobile WiMAX version 2.0 that provides even better mobility as compared to the first version. So it means that these technologies are there which provide mobile broadband to the internet users which carry their handsets. Now what is so unique and what is so interesting about these mobile broadband internet access technologies? First of all, these are based on smartphones, tablets, and laptops. So there is a factor something, factor which I call as the most important factor, which is being personal. As compared to having a single telephone in, for the entire household, here we have a mobile phone, if not more, for every household member. So first one is that since a phone is carried by the user, so it's always available. It means the internet connectivity has to be there 24-7 for any kind of service that the user is interested in. The user or the mobile phone carrier has now more time to use it. The services which were initially being provided at the residential or the corporate level are now being considered to be provided with the context of the user. Location-based services being certain services which are based on the location or proximity of the mobile phone carrier. And then another important feature or attribute for mobile-based internet access, mobile broadband internet access technologies is the notion of generalized mobility. It means that a user or a phone carrier, smartphone carrier, can move at will from one region to the other, which could be maybe from few kilometers to hundreds of kilometers of distance or it could be from one city to the other or it could be within a city while driving a vehicle. Then it could be across different speeds, for instance pedestrian walking or someone traveling in a car on a motorway. It means now these are the factors which make more mobile broadband internet access very interesting and very relevant because hopefully inshallah the mobile broadband Based users are not going to give it up in near time. So what we conclude is that the drivers coming from mobile broadband access side is number one as the fixed broadband access, the move to IP. Here also we see that LTE, long-term evolution and long-term evolution advanced, the LTEA are based on IP. The current deployment the newly emerging uh, market op players, the telecom operators, etc., are making sure that the smartphones are present and they are present big time. So we are seeing a very wide coverage and deployment of the mobile broadband access networks, uh, Pakistan-wide as well as globally. So the, now the effort now is to integrate these with the fixed networks. So it is in short called fixed to mobile convergence. After all, when both of these are moving to IP, so interoperability between a user that originates a internet connection from fixed network and it terminates on the mobile broadband access side and vice versa is going to be something very normal. So for that, the engines have to take care of that. 
so it is one of the driving forces behind the ngn architecture